Let's see, there we kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of see it. What's going on, guys? Back at it again, another video. We're looking at the snails right here. Baby snails. Golden baby snails at that. They're going to get about two inches. They're all piled up here because they're on an algae wafer. You got to like snails, man. A lot of people hate them. They got a bad rep. But they don't understand how beneficial snails are to a community of fish. Your tank has survived without them. It doesn't necessarily need them, but they're part of the food chain. They're part of the process, you know? But this is what I really want to show y'all. Finally, finally, clear. After water change, after water change, after this being in here for a while doing its job adding the sponge filter still didn't hot rod the uh, inside of that yet we'll be doing that soon i'll be adding a uh, another sponge inside of there with some polyester filling um which will help uh clear the water even more and if you look at this here that's what that is there that's polyester and what it does um it grabs onto all that junk you see there and it pulls it out. If you look at my substrate, you'll see just very little poop and barely any leftover food. The cleanup crew will stir it up as you're seeing there and see how all that stuff starts making its way over here. And it gets sucked up by these holes in here and in between here. And whatever it doesn't suck up because it's going too high, it gets blown and repeats that same cycle so eventually it makes its way in there cleaning the tank making it look beautiful whatever this doesn't grab the filter picks it up and the fish pretty much eat it off so it was a consistent flow of just the tank being cleaned and crystal beneficial bacteria being made constantly they're a little um, in my face because they haven't got fed my fish been fasting. Yes, fasting. Why Why are you fasting a fish? Like, Jesus, what is this? It's probably what you're thinking. Now, you probably just exit this video, went to Google. What's the purpose of fasting fish? Google will tell you there's no point in fasting as long as you're giving your fish a healthy and a good diet and filtration is great. But um, Google will also tell you one inch per gallon. So if you get a 10 gallon tank and a 10 inch plecos, this is 29 gallons. So if you follow their one inch, your plecos will be this long inside of here. Even in this, it would not be happy. It won't be able to swim in here. Maybe quarantining a 10 inch plecos in here because it's going to be in here for a few days, a week. Um, whatever the case may be, yes, totally fine, but come on, Google. Um, well, it's my personal appear, uh, opinion, and I noticed that uh, it actually helps benefits your fish in many different ways. And one way that I realize it helps, um, they could a lot of people would say you can feed your fish a healthy diet. Well, what what is a healthy diet? What are fish eating? A lot of people are just feeding their fish flakes and that's about it. Is that considered a healthy diet? Or maybe every once in a while you're tossing in some blood worms, things like that. That doesn't very, that doesn't contain to be a healthy diet. Um, I feed my fish a lot of different things from flakes, uh, different insects, uh, blood worms, brine shrimp, uh, pellets, veggies, and things like that. Um, fish don't digest like we digest. They're very small, as you see. She's a little bloated. So fa uh, uh, fasting helps with this, uh, the bloatiness. Um, it also helps with aggression in your fish. A lot of times, your fish will become a little bit aggressive because so much food is being put in the tank, and they get greedy. So they, they want to eat before all the other fish do. And that's where that dominance comes into play. But if you actually do a fasting period of a few days to a week, your fish will be actually 
fine. Now, I'm not saying this works for all fish because some fish can't survive that long without food. For some of your bigger fish, they can sustain depending on what you're feeding. Heavier stuff like uh, fillet fish, uh, tilapia, um, you're feeding bloodworms and certain insects and things like that. Your fish can actually survive and digest that for a, a long period of time because um, their stomachs are not built like humans. They don't just digest food like we do. Um, they will actually poop more in that process of fasting, which will keep your tank more clear. Because if you're constantly feeding, constantly feeding, you're, cl you're clogging up your filtration. You're causing your tank to get cloudy, which can cause diseases and stress to your fish and so on and so forth. And then you get a cycle where you can't control your perimeters. So every once in a while, I like to fast my fish, give them some time where they just don't eat. So they're going on day two. Tomorrow they get some food. So they fast for just three days. With the fasting, the water has cleared up. They look a lot better. I also think when fasting, your fish actually live a little longer. This fish right here, he's about five years old. Um, he used to be the most beautiful fish in the tank with the most color and everything else. Um, as he aged, the color gets becomes less. Um, you start to see it in their swimming plat patterns and things like that. It's just an easy sign when you have fish so many years and you're keeping them for so long. You can tell when that fish is slowly deteriorating. Um, pretty much as an old man. That's what he is. And he's an old man fish. Five years. Garamis live about five to six years. Um, a lot of people don't really get to see that longevity of their fish living that long and a lot of it's because they don't feed their fish right the filtration is bad uh air the flow in their tank is not good enough fish need a constant flow of water movement this right here is pushing two jets pushing water out the bubbler is making water separate pushing it causing surface movement the filter hitting the water causing surface movement. Real soon, I think I want to add, uh, what are those called? The wave maker, put one here, but face it down to help just clear that bottom up more. And that gives more movement in the tank. Even though these fish are um, getting ready to move to a bigger tank, I still want to do those things. We got our love birds here. Our two snails that breed all of our snails. We got Sky, female beta. Um, she doesn't really go through the fasting process. Sometimes I do it, but um, only when she gets really bloated. Right now she's not as bloated. And bloatiness just comes from feeding your fish a lot of heavy foods, which I normally don't do. I like to give them a treat here and there. Water is looking excellent. I wish the shrimps would come out more, but they don't because she chases them around. I haven't been able to get her to be peaceful with the cherry shrimps like I have done with my other betas. Here goes some more snails. They're also eating some algae wafers. But a random video for today. Just wanted to show you the curiosity of the water and take you on a little rant of my, uh, you know. Look at that rock. It's like perfectly round. <laughs>